Hi everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Well today I have a haul for you guys. Uh, this haul is things that I've just been picking up. Actually I haven't purchased anything as of lately. This stuff is old. Pretty much. Okay, uh, I have been using these two products here, and as you can see, the it's been in my shower. And um, these were on clearance, and they're from uh, Bumble and Bumble Full Potential Hair Pre Preserving Conditioner, and then the Hair Preserving Shampoo. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And I have been using these. In fact, if I have to tell you, they're about. It's about right here. They're almost empty. Almost. Now this one, the shampoo was on clearance for $16 and I believe the conditioner was on clearance, I want to say like $12. Um, that's a bit pricey for me, <laughs> but I've always heard about Bumble and Bumble and I've heard some good talk about it. Uh, I will tell you this is an amazing shampoo for me. It does have perfume smell, but it's not overly perfumed. Um, and it does leave my hair feeling really, really good. I really like this. So if I see it again at Marshall's, I, I will pick it up again. And I wanted to tell you right now that I keep wanting to look at the uh, viewfinder. I'm sorry. I still haven't gotten used to it. All right, so that was from Marshall's. The other thing, I just used one right now. This is the OPI Wipe Off. This is acetone free and it has oils in it. It says uh, one wipe cleans all tent nails, alcohol free, moisturizing formula, fresh lavender scent. And I got this at uh, Sally Beauty Supply. I've used it twice. This is the second time I've used it and I absolutely love it. It's it I love it because of the oil in it and I feel like it really it doesn't dry off my um, nails in any way or my cuticles. It was $1.99 and everything that day was 50% off the clearance. So it was a really, really good deal. The other thing I picked up that day at Sally's was this nail polish. It's an Everglaze extended wear and it's a gray tone. Uh, and here's the color. I hope my camera will. And I really liked it. It's very, very, very liquidy. I mean, very liquidy. Um, and it, it, it lasted, I put my nails through the ringer this past week and I will tell you it lasted pretty good. It, it held up pretty good, but I, like I said, I put my nails through the ringer. I do like it, but it's very, very liquidy. So when I put it on, on the brush, I have to put like a very small amount. Otherwise it'll just drip right down because it's very liquidy. All right, Marshalls, I picked up these uh, professional eyebrow and hair razors, multi-purpose for eyebrows and facial hair. You get a set of three, and basically it's these razors. I, ha I have been using one. They're very, very sharp, guys. Very, very sharp. I have to be very careful. Uh, they're $3.99 for three. Uh, yeah, it's from uh, the brand, uh, the, cr the Cram Shop. Cram? Yeah, Cram Shop. Um, I can't tell if it's focusing for you guys. Ah, but uh, it, they're very sharp. I have to be extremely careful with those. Extremely careful. Okay, the next thing I have I got is this deodorant. It came in a packet of two for four ninety nine, and the scent is La Vanilla, or is that the brand La Vanilla? I think it's the brand, huh? Uh, it says the healthy deodorant, uh, Vanilla Passion Fruit. It's a solid stick. This is brand new, but I, I have the other one in the medicine cabinet. I do like it. It's a deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant. I don't think it is. It's just a, simply a deodorant stick. Yeah, just a deodorant. Um, I do like it, but I have to reapply. But here's what's been happening. I noticed within the past day or two of using this consistently is that my underarms are red and I'm thinking that's an allergic reaction to it. I'm thinking um, because this is the only thing that's really, really different. And so I'm going to keep my eye out and see if it is this is that's causing it. I don't have another deodorant on hand so that I could switch, but uh, I'll let you know. But I do like it, but I do have to reapply because the way I sweat on a daily basis, 
yeah I have to reapply from Sally's I picked these two was it these I think this is the only two uh, these airbrush false nails from Bella nails I have used their brand uh, the ones that are very very colorful I don't like it seems like they don't go on but the ones that are like a French tip they're fine so I got two of these and they were $4.59 but they all the clearance that day was 50% off so I picked these up then um, okay this one I got at Winco this is a cutex care non acetone so when I'm changing out my nail polishes when I wear my false nails uh, this has not acetone. It had a much bigger size, but they were pricey. So I just went ahead and got this one for like temporary until I can get me a bigger size for a better deal. Um, okay. The other thing I picked up at Marshall's, uh, this was $5.99. This is the Bumble and Bumble uh, Tonic Lotion Primer. And um, oh, I'm trying to get used to this camera. There we go. And uh, basically, you put this on your hair uh, as a sort of a serum. I, th I think that's what I read. It's a serum. Uh, I bought two of them thinking I'm, I know for sure I'm going to love it. But I have to tell you, I'm not crazy about it. I still have to use a little bit more. I've only used it twice. But I keep pulling out the It's a 10, the leave-in conditioner. Uh, because that just oh, feels so good on my hair. But I'll keep trying. The, uh, the other one I have is in my hair supply stuff. I'll keep trying this and see if it doesn't end up working for me. This is brand spanking new. I will just pass this along. Like I said, I got two. The only two they had. I thought, I know I'm going to like it, but... Ah. All right, the other uh, nail polish that I picked up was this one from OPI. At, I got it at Ulta. It was $10. I paid $4.97 for it, and it's called Piazza Cake. Uh, again, I haven't used that one. This one here, have I used? No, I haven't used. Here's another Everglaze. It's a green color. Uh, I got this one at Sally's for $1.99, and then it was 50% off of that. Uh, I haven't used it yet. And the color to this one is called Cashin, Cashin Out. <laughs> so, got that one. Okay, back to Marshalls. I picked up this Bite, Bite Beauty uh, lipstick. This is a buttercream lipstick. <gasps> I was so excited when I saw Bite Beauty at Marshalls. And so I picked this one up. This is $6.99 and this is a uh, Mocha. M-O-K-A, Mocha. <clears throat> Let's see, and I've used it a couple of times. Here's the packaging. I've used it a couple of times. And it, I love it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, do I love this color, people. Do I love this color. I do. Love this. Oh my gosh. Um, again at Marshalls, I saw Kat Von D there and I picked up this one here for $9.99 and it's called uh, High Voltage Eye Primer. I have not used it and I haven't opened it yet, but it's from Kat Von D and I paid $9.99. Okay, the other thing I picked up uh, was this Kat Von D Lightning Lighter Liner, Metallic Eyeliner. And the color is Jet, and I paid $7.99 for it. I haven't used it. I haven't opened it. Gosh, I hope that's focusing. Uh, and it looks like this. And the color is Jet. Oh, showing you the wrong way, ain't I? No? Oh, here it is. <laughs> there you go. And I haven't opened that one to try. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, and I bought me a Kiss Brush on Nail Glue. The, from uh, the brush kind. I've been looking up at the viewfinder, haven't I? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the other thing I picked up at Marshall's when I really was excited about is this Marc Jacob palette. Uh, this was $19.99. And this says Style Icon uh, number seven, Plush Eyeshadows. And I do have one of my favorite uh shadows from this palette in here i'm sorry i'm looking up at the viewfinder i promise you i will work on that maybe i should just flip the viewfinder down and not worry about it but then i won't see if it's focusing or not uh, I'll, I'll get it i'll get it but anyway this is it it's from mark jacobs 
a uh, very sleek palette, uh, 214 The Night Owl. That's what it's called, style icon number seven, 214 The Night Owl. I hope that's focusing for you. And the shadow that I've been sort of raving about uh, is this gold one right here. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty and I do have it on today, right in the center. Actually the whole lid pretty much except for the very very corner and then it's shutting down so I'm gonna try and end this now but uh, here's the it's swatched right here absolutely gorgeous it's oh my gosh they had other palettes there as well uh, but one was completely broken I mean all the shadows were broken and then the other one were more purples and I have palettes that are purple <laughs> so I just got this one here uh, and then the last thing I picked up there at Marshall's for $5, I got two of these. They're masks and uh, they're animal masks and you get 10 inside. And um, yeah, so I haven't tried it. It says 100% pure cotton. So I haven't tried it. I can't wait to try it. And I'm also going to be sending a few out to a friend. But anyways, guys, that is it. I'm going to end this here before my camera shuts down on me again because it gets really hot and it, it just shuts down. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.